All right. So you were asked to factor the numerator and the denominator. Okay. Is there a GCF here? No. Trinomial or binomial? Trinomial. So what can I... A is 1, B is negative 1, C is negative 42. What can I multiply to get negative 42, add to get negative 1? What'd you get, Harley? 6 and 7. And which one has to be negative? Okay. I'm going to put that phone away, right? In the denominator, is there a GCF? No. Okay. So, binomial, trinomial? Trinomial. What can I multiply to get negative 7, add to get negative 6? 1 and 7. Which one has to be negative? A 1. But if the 1's negative, then you're going to get positive 6. So we want the negative, the 7 to be negative. Yep, totally knew that, totally knew that. Okay. So, let's talk a minute before we finish this. If I asked you what 5 divided by 5 is, what would you tell me? If I asked you what x divided by x is, what would you tell me? 1. 1. Because it's x to the 0, which is 1, right? So if I ask you what x plus 2 over x plus 2 is, what do you think it's going to be? One. x plus 4? No, you're dividing it. So if you take something and divide it by itself, you're still going to get 1. So in this problem, do you see a factor in the numerator and the same factor in the denominator? The x minus 7. The x minus 7. So when I divide these out, they cancel out and make 1. Okay. What we're doing is we're taking out common factors to simplify the fraction. So what's left is x plus 6 over x plus 1. Okay. Questions? Number two. It threw some people for a loop. They tried to factor using difference of squares for the top. First of all, there's a plus sign there. So that's not difference of squares. Second of all, I see something in common first. What's in common here? The x's. The x. Everyone see you have x squared and x? So you can divide out an x. Remember when you divide out an x, you subtract your exponents. 2 minus 1 is 1. You have the 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. So we divide it in x out. Okay. In the denominator, is there a GCF? No. Is there two or three terms? Three. So what can I multiply to get negative 8, add to get negative 2? 2 and 4, yeah. Which one has to be negative? The 4, yes. What do you see that is in common in the numerator and the denominator? X plus 2. So this is the only new part of this whole lesson is just crossing out the common one. Everything else is factoring. And yes, you must rewrite it. 
and the numerator is an x, and the denominator is x minus 4. Okay. And number three, like I said, you did this back when we did exponents. Remember when we did exponents, we treated the numbers separately from the variables? And I told you just to plug that in your calculator and hit equals. So go for it. Plug that in your calculator and hit equals. What did y'all get? One half. Now, what do you do with the exponents? Subtract them. Which you get x to the negative 2. Because you always do top minus bottom. So now that I have x to the negative 2, where do negative exponents go? The bottom. And you're done. Okay. So that's a preview of what we're going to be doing. Same thing we have been doing. Factoring. We're just canceling out common, common factors to simplify it. Okay. And like I said, once you guys get back to school, you guys will get the packets, and Austin, you'll get yours, so um, it'll be easier. Wait, when should somebody come pick it up? I'm going to have it out there by 2 o'clock today. All right. So if they want to come today, they can. If not, they can come Monday morning, whatever. Okay, where is this? Where's it going to be? In the, in the main, you know where the main doors are, the main offices? Yeah. You know when you come in, there is a, there's a hallway, and then you can go continue into the school, but there's a hallway with a bookshelf there? No. When you go through the first door, there's a little hallway, and then there's another set of doors, right? Okay. Before those set of doors, in that first hallway, you'll see it over on the left. There's a table, and it will be on your ta on the table. All right. Okay. If they have problems finding it, they just gotta ask the office. The office will know where to put to find it. All right. Okay. Okay. Unless you have someone that lives nearby that can bring it to you. You have anyone here that lives nearby? Oh, uh, my grandma. No. My grandma. Is, is there anyone that lives near your house? Um. I don't think so. No, okay. No, I just figured that could be an option, too. All right. Rational expressions are algebraic expressions, and it can be written as a fraction. The numerator and denominator are polynomials. Some examples are. This is one. It's just a couple polynomials. And a fraction. That's all a rational expression is. Polynomials set up into a fraction. Pretty easy, huh? Denominators of a fraction cannot be. What is the one number we cannot divide by? Kill? One. Uh, you can divide by negatives. You can divide by one. Put off, buddy. Huh? Oh, zero. Zero. Denominators of a fraction cannot be zero. Excluded values are values of a variable that result in a denominator of zero. And must be excluded from the domain of the variable. Okay. Meaning. Excluded values are numbers that the variable cannot be.
because if they are those numbers, the denominator will be zero and it will be undefined. Okay? So we're going to learn how to find them so you understand where they're coming from. But nine times out of ten, they give it to you. I do know on Alex, someone went into the rational expressions category earlier and they had one. They had to find the excluded values. It was easy. I mean, you just fax the denominator and you're going to solve. So it's not that hard, um, but you can go into those now. Um, so to do this, you're going to factor the denominator to find these excluded values. And set each factor equal to zero and solve. Okay, so in the first one, the denominator cannot be factored because it's just b plus 7. You can't factor that. So the first step's done. Second step, set each factor. So set it equal to 0 and solve. A lot of you remember doing it this way. You put a line down it. And remember... In order to solve, you have to do the opposite of what they do. They took B and added 7. So what's the opposite of adding 7? Subtract it. So you're going to subtract 7 to both sides. And 0 minus 7 is negative 7. So this states that B cannot equal negative 7. That's what we just found, what B cannot equal. Because if b equals negative 7, and you put that in, what's negative 7 plus 7? 0. B, and the denominator can't be 0. So that's why we have to tell everyone that you can use any number for b except negative 7, because negative 7 makes it undefined. And that's how they write it. They'll do a semicolon in the variable cannot equal. So the second one. A minus 4 is already factored. What are we going to do to solve this? Yes, the opposite of subtracting 4 is adding 4. Do you have something you want him to do? He's doing right now, he's done a couple independent practice and he's done actual. All right, do you want me? I can give him the cons and then he can do Alex. Okay, okay give me one second. Yeah. Yeah. So A cannot equal 4. Okay. Do me a favor. Go to the last one for a minute and factor the denominator while you're waiting. Factor the denominator. We're going to get to it, but if you factor it for me while you're waiting. Yep, sign out. You said difference of squares, Mr. Vinny?
Okay, I have two. There was an intro and then a regular one in the um, in Khan Academy. I, hey, I have a yes. We did GCF and then difference of squares, then the. Yeah. Okay. There's two cons and then um. And then depending on time, you can do Alex or keep working with you. Okay. okay. You rock. All right. Okay. So let's go to the third one. We'll go to the fourth one eventually. 3x minus 1 equals 0. I have to move the constant first. The constant's the one without the variable. So the constant's the 1. How am I going to move it? Addition, because it's subtracted. This is 3 times x equals 1. So how am I going to get rid of the 3? What's the opposite? Division, because the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So x cannot equal 1 third. Okay. The last one, you were told to back to the denominator. So we have a, a, 4, 3, negative 4, positive 3. Everyone should have had that factored for me. This is what it means by set each factor. We now got to do it twice. Got to set the first factor. And we got to set the second factor. We got to do two different ones. So how am I going to move the 3? Subtract. So I get a cannot equal negative 3. And how am I going to move the 4? So a cannot equal 4. This time we have two restrictions. They both make the, the denominator zero. If I put negative three in here, negative three squared is nine. Nine minus a negative three is 12. 12 minus 12 is zero. Can't do it. Four squared is 16, minus four is 12. 12 minus 12 is zero. Both of those values make that denominator zero. Okay, which you cannot have. Question. So do we understand what excluded values are? Okay. I do not like the way they teach you this one. Because we teach you, we teach you different when we do exponents. So I'm not going to go with their way. They say find the GCF for both of them, factor it out, and then cancel it. I get it. But it's just as easy to put it in your calculator. Just as easy to do it piece by piece. Put it in your calculator, negative 7 over 21. And you should get negative 1 third. Subtract your exponents. 2 minus 5. 
2 minus 5, negative 3. Where am I putting it? Bottom. Three minus one. Two. Where am I putting it? It's just as easy to teach you that way, because you already know that way, than it is to do it the elongated way. By doing that, that's all we're doing is getting a GCF and taking the GCF out. Notice how here they factored out, it cancels. We can do the same thing in our calculators. Okay? Example three! So let's do that the same way I just taught you. Let's do 35 over 14 in your calculator. We have an X on top. And nothing on bottom, so I'm going to put a 1. We have a y squared. Put that away. And a y squared. And then we have a z on bottom, so nothing's on top, so I'm going to put a 1. That's what we have. There's a z's on bottom. There's no z's on top.